Bobby. I just kind of, <laughs> kind of modeled it. I was like, there's something about the way Bobby, you know, I see the tennis shoes, the collared shirt, and it's like. Definitely out of the loop. To, you know, it's not going to work out there in the real world. But no, these guys really had an idea for the character was going to look, and it was effective. You put on these clothes, and you just felt defeated. <laughs> Come in in the day, you're kind of your normal thing. You look pretty good today. And then as soon as you put on that stuff and come out, it's like game over. What the hell is wrong with you two? You are completely obsessed with sex. What are you doing? Photographs. Most married men believe that if not for you, they could actually be with these other women. I'm giving you a hall pass. A what? A hall pass. You and me, buddy, for the next six days. <laughs> Let me log out. Okay, you log out. I'm gonna try to nail the reception. Well, the first draft was done by Pete Jones. We loved the idea, and we got in, and we rewrote it with Pete and Kevin Barnett. And when I first showed the draft that we worked on to my wife, she just threw it. So I hate these <laughs> people. Hate the <laughs> women, not people. people. <laughs> You said yesterday it was the women. that the wives actually gave a lot of feedback that before. More than ever, yeah. But she was angry because she said, if you're going to get a hall pass, I'm getting a hall pass. Like, that these women are sitting around biting their fingernails at that time. That's what was in the script. She's, I wonder what our guys are doing now. Do you think they're with girls? Do you think? She's, I hate them. I don't relate to them. And we realized it's, it wasn't an accurate portrayal of what would happen. Whose wife fake came now. up with the idea for us to play volleyball with shirtless 20-somethings? Because that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> that was Melinda. No, also. <laughs> the William Goldman of the uh, minivan set. <laughs> that a was a wonderful up. addition to the script. Because I'm the one who got to make out with the 20 something year old. That's the thing you're not seeing in the previews is that the ladies get their own hall pass. Well, that's what you realize is that guys, you know, probably love the concept, but of course, it's going to be easier for a girl, obviously. It's a lot easier it's for a girl lot. who has a hall pass. It's, you know, it would take 10 minutes. That's, that's why I'm now a mom. Wait a minute. We have way more fun. <laughs> oh, right, right. <laughs> you know what's fun with the girls in the movie is that as the movie goes along, they get prettier and prettier and prettier. Yeah. Aww. And, you know, they got away, they went down to the Cape, they just kind of rediscovered their own youth. So when he came into the room? What? I pretended to be asleep. <clears throat> You're kidding, you don't, you've never done that before? Oh God, I do that all the time. I think it's a great date movie. It's got a lot of laughs, and, and if you're laughing on a date, I yeah. think it's a good like double date or triple date movie. Like I think people could go in groups, because I, I think, think it would be fun to go out for drinks later, and, and then- And discuss. And discuss. And unlike the discussion of many Oscar movies, like Black Swan or Inception, dialogue isn't at the restaurant afterwards. What the hell was that? What does that mean? <laughs> it's more like you'd actually discuss what, yeah. what the movie was about. Yes. And like, you might see Schlong. You might see Schlong in this movie. Well, I appreciate and that that's about like, your That's film. not something to get to the theater. I don't know what is. Special Farrelly Brothers Schlong. You give equal time to equal body parts, yeah. like men yeah. and women. It's a chick flick. I mean, how many <laughs> different ways do we have to say it? Come on. Yeah. <laughs>